This is puzzle number 75, a hard puzzle from Sudoku to Go, volume 118 by Soap Opera Digest. We're going to talk about the L pattern in this video, but before I talk about that, I want to show you some shirts that are available on the SudokuPrimer.com website. Um, these are some designs that are out there. Uh, there is more than more designs than what I'm going to show you here. Uh, this one at the top says, do I like Sudoku? And uh, the question is answered with a bunch of other questions like, is the sky blue? Is rain wet? Can birds fly? Do bears poop in the forest? I think you get the idea there. And we got this one here. Kind of a keep calm meme you've probably seen. This one is a keep calm, doesn't have much to do with Sudoku, but it's out there. And then this, this shirt is just a very simple design, really clean looking. It's just Sudoku by itself, and the O in the word Sudoku is a, is a puzzle. There are other shirts out there too, so go to sudokuprimer.com and look at the online store and you'll see uh, uh, all the shirt designs. There's quite a few more, plus there are always new ones being added. There are a bunch more designs that will be added very, very soon. So check those out. Uh, as I mentioned, we're going to talk about the L pattern. Let me explain what the L pattern is. And by the way, you'll see a new section in SudokuPrimer.com uh, with different patterns in it. Uh, the L pattern is out there, uh, plus other patterns. And there will be new, new patterns added um, in the future. Let's just talk about the L pattern, what it is. Just draw a box here. If you have four numbers in a box in those cells right there, it's in the shape of an L. Of course, this is a backwards L right there. <clears throat> now you can also have an L pattern that looks like this. That's also an L pattern. It's kind of a modified L pattern, but you get the same um, you get the same thing with that one. And that's what we have in this puzzle. We've got an L pattern in this box here and an L pattern in this box right here. And uh, let me let me show you how to what you can do with an L pattern. An L pattern is very similar to a wall. In in this case, we have a wall here and a wall here with one extra cell filled in and with a wall what you can do is you can look for three numbers that will either go here or three numbers that go here but because there's an extra number filled in here you've only got two cells that you need to look for numbers for. In this case we've got a 912 here we've already got a 2 in this box so we know the 1 and 9 are twins here Okay, another thing you can do when you look at an L pattern is look at the row that's missing the two cells and look for numbers in that row that are outside that box. In this case, we know one of these is an 8. There's an 8 there, and therefore one of these is an 8 also. Let's look at this box here with respect to these numbers. We've got a 2, 6, and 7 got a 2 here already so these are 6, 7 twins and then we've got a 3 here so we know one of these is a 3 and we can solve the 3 already so we know because of this L pattern here we've got 6, 7 twins we've got a 3 here so we're missing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4 and 5 in this row 
and over here we've got a got one nine twins and so we can tell what these three numbers are one two three four five eight nine so four five and eight go here and I think we can solve those we got a four and a five there we got a four there So those three numbers we can solve. We can't solve the four fives here or the one one nines or the six sevens yet. Okay. Now what else can these L patterns do now that we've got some numbers in here? Because of these twins we here we found, we know what these three numbers are. We also know what these three numbers are in these in this row. And so therefore with these six numbers we can tell what these three numbers are. So let's look at that a little bit. What's in, what are we missing here? One, two, three, six, seven. Three, six, and seven there. We can't solve any. What are we missing in the middle row right here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, four, and five are missing here. Fives there, so we know that's a five, and we can fill in the two and four also. Okay, now what do we have here? We've got three, six, seven here, so we're missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, eight, nine here. Okay, we've got an eight there and a one here, but not enough to solve those. But we know what these three numbers are, these three numbers, these two, these two, and these two now. Now let me just uh, continue to fill in some numbers in this puzzle and then we'll and then we'll um, go on from there. I may fill in some numbers that are um, pretty obvious. I'm not going to talk about them like those three. If you have a question about why I placed a number where I did, please leave a comment, and we can, I can, uh, I can try and answer your any questions you have. See, right here we've got a five and a seven in this column, and a five and a seven in this row, so we know that these are five seven twins right there we can solve them. Like that. And now we know we've got a 5-7 in this row already, a 5-7 in this row already, so we know that 5 and 7 need to go in here. We've got a 5 here already, so one of these is a 5 and one of the 3 is a 7. Fill in that eight. Here we've got a three. Now how did I get that three? Well, we've got three, three. So one of these is a three. We've got a three here already. So one of these is a three. With this three, we know these are ghost threes right there. So we know that's a three. We also know this is a three because we got a three here and we got ghost threes there. Let's look at this column right here. We've got we're missing one, three, four, five, six, seven, one, six, and seven. We have a six and seven there, so we know that's a one. If you remember these are one eight nines and these are three six sevens. And then now we're only missing a 6 and a 7 in that column, and we can solve those. We know this is a 1 right here for two reasons. We've got 1, 2 twins here. We've got a 1 here, so one of these has to be a 1. And using a, a double column elimination, a one can only fit in those one of those two rows in box one, and one of these two.
two rows in box three. So that covers these two rows. That's called double, um, double row elimination. And so we know that's a one. We also know that that's a one because there's only two numbers missing in this row right there. So we could have found it that way also. We have one, two twins there, and we know that's a two and that's a one. And how do we know that? Because we've got <clears throat> only two numbers missing in this box are two, three twins. And so we know that has to be a two. We can solve those two threes right now. <clears throat> and now we have, <clears throat> if you remember, we had three, six, seven here. And uh, so with that three, we know what those are. You can always also put in this one here now. Since we have a 1 here, we know these 1, 9 twins, we can solve those. Whoop! <laughs> Did it the wrong way. That's supposed to be a 1, and that's a 9. Sorry. <laughs> okay. And then we know this is a 9 here, because we've got we've only got one cell missing in that column. Let's see what we're missing here. 2, 6, Two and six, we can fill those in. Okay, now with with that two, we know that's a two right there. Okay, now we put in sixes here and here. We know that's a six, only number missing in that row. With that six, we can solve the six, seven twins that we found earlier. Okay, let's see what we're missing in this column. One, two, three, four, seven, four and seven. We know that's a seven, so that has to be a four. And now we're only missing the five sevens we talked about here. So we have five, seven there. 5, 7 there, so we know these are 5, 7s. We can solve those. And we've got 4, 5s here. Those are the 4, 5s that we found early on in the puzzle because of this L pattern here and an L pattern there. We can solve those now. That's a seven right there. Let's see what we're missing here. One, one, seven, eight. So that's an eight. And of course, it's the only number missing in that row, row, row eight there. So we're missing uh, one and seven there. can fill those in. Okay, let's look at this box right here. We're missing uh, one, four, one, four, nine. So 
that has to be a 4. That's a 9, and that's a 1. Okay, we're only missing an 8 and a 9 here, and an 8 and a 9 here. <coughs> and then we'll be done. Got an 8 and a 9 there. 8 and 9 there. All right. Okay, so to get started, we saw these L patterns here. That helped us fill in a few numbers in the middle section right here. And uh, once we started, once we found a few numbers there, that helped us uh, get moving pretty quickly on the, on the rest of the puzzle. Uh, well, thank you for watching, and remember <clears throat> to check out the t-shirts the on SudokuPrimer.com and also the new section on patterns in Sudoku, on SudokuPrimer.com. I'll see you on the next video.